So we'll go ahead and hit our menu button and then we'll go all the way over to hit our settings. And then we'll go to USB connection, go from auto to PC remote, and then we'll go to power supply, and then we'll choose on. And then if you go to PC remote settings, go ahead and hit PC camera and then do PC only, and then hit your menu button to go back, and then menu button again. And then now you're back to your live stream, or well, live view of your camera, and as you see, now we're ready to hook up our USB cable, as so. And now we'll go ahead and plug it into our computer. And uh, Windows will recognize it. And then we have the Sony remote software that uh, it's called Imaging Edge. And that's the new software that Sony is offering. Now, the old software what we have right here called Remote Control, uh, Remote Camera Control, they're disabling that slash not making it anymore or whoever is making it for Sony is no longer making it, and therefore no longer supporting it. So they recommend you go and download their new product, uh, the Imaging Edge by Sony Remote. So we'll go ahead and load that. So now that our camera's on, it's plugged in, let's go ahead and run the remote software. And then as you see here, it's uh, loaded, and it looks like a pretty good image. And uh, here you're able to record. So like if we want to go ahead and record this, we can hit this remote video option like so. And if you heard that little beep, you'll understand that you're now recording. And as you see, we're recording. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so there you go. So now we'll go ahead and end that. And then you hear that little beep telling you that it stopped. So as you see, you have a bunch of features here. Now, if you have a problem connecting it, you need to go to file and then you need to go to start viewer or start edit, whatever you're trying to do. And then obviously here you have your display live view. Now this is great because you obviously want to see what you're recording, um, especially if you're going to be far away or whatever. So right now we are recording, and as you see there's a quick key, control R. And if you hit it again, again we have our recorded uh, video. So again, you have your different settings here that you can remotely control on your camera, your autofocus, your white balance, your picture effects if you want one, change the image size, aspect radio, ratio, blah, 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 blah and a bunch of other things here, like a grid lines, which could be useful if you're trying to record and uh, get certain things in your shot, um, which is nice. Um, so you can have that you know, effect so you know exactly what you're trying to do. And again, we have the ability to zoom in. We have a display guide, which we can hit right there, which is nice. You know, It doesn't look like it allows us to change uh, the pattern here, like size. If it does, I don't know about it yet. Um, but yeah, and you have your display overlay, and you can run a different file if you wanted to have on top of it, which is kind of cool. So if you're doing some kind of, I don't know, recording that you need to find uh, something to make sure it fits within the values of uh, a grid, then you can go ahead and uh, it looks like, select a file to use and it does an overlay transparency which is cool um, I had to do something like that for work once uh, for well it doesn't matter but we had to know uh, inches uh, inches half inch etc but anyways so you could go ahead and get rid of the live view and then you have nothing and then you just have this and you could just record but what fun is that you kinda wanna know what you're doing so that's a quick control L so that basically shows you uh, my lights are basically going to want to fall down on us right now, probably because we have the air conditioner on. But nonetheless, uh, there you go. So here, again, you have your histogram that you can take a look at. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole software, but that's basically how you can get your uh, Sony uh, camera hooked up here and uh, remotely control it or have somebody remotely control it for you. And uh, yeah, so the wife is a professional photographer, so that's why we have to have it. Otherwise, I would never spend the money for something like this. And I'm getting a look that you cannot believe. A fake smile. But anyways, guys, so there you go. So that hopefully uh, helps you uh, understand how to use the Sony uh, remote software and start recording to your computer versus your uh, camera, especially if you have a small uh, memory card, which is useful. Anyways, thank you for watching.